finding quality podcast guests for your podcast can be really difficult. There are so many places to look, so many people in the world to consider, and you want to make sure that the people that come on your show are not only going to help you create really incredible content, but will also share the episode with their friends or with their audience. So today we're going to be talking about all of that First, going through some of your goals, ensuring that your guests are aligned with those goals, and then moving into eight places where you can go to find quality guests. Welcome to Successful Podcasting Unlocked. I am Alicia Galati, founder of Galati Media, a full service podcast management agency where we help business owners launch and maintain lead generating podcasts. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we're going to be answering the question where to find quality guests for your podcast. Now, First, I want us to take a step back before I list out all of these places that you can go to find quality guests. I want you to consider your goals. When it comes to adding people into your sphere or inviting them into your space with your listeners, it's important that we are very, very intentional with the people that we allow in. It's important that we are getting people who are going to not only co-create something incredible, but will also potentially share it with their audience if it's aligned with that audience. And I don't just mean that we are getting high profile guests. Yes, high profile guests are really great and are really fun, but I've actually found that the people who have smaller audiences and are really incredible at what they do, those almost hidden gems types of people, those are the ones that are going to be so excited to share your episode. They're the ones that are going to promote it, talk about it, and come with value. So the focus should always be on getting guests that yes, are great and are incredible, but are going to create quality content with you for your audience always consider your audience. Now, eight places that you can go to find high quality guests for your podcast. Number one is talk to your friends. Ask your Facebook community, ask your friends, whether that is business friends or personal friends, if they know someone who is specifically talking about a certain thing. So you don't just want to say, hey, I'm looking for guests for my podcast. Do you know anybody who would like to be a guest on my show? That is going to be too wide of a net to cast and you're not going to get a good poll of people from that kind of a post. So you want to make sure that the post that you're creating says something very specific. For example, on my podcast in March, I'm going to be talking about ways to repurpose our podcast content. Do you know anyone who talks specifically about repurposing content? There are probably lots of people that talk about repurposing content, but it narrows it down and it allows you to have a smaller group of people to pull from. Without having those boundaries and those kind of bookends set, it makes it so that anyone and everyone is going to share and is going to let you know. And you don't really need that. You need to be very specific, which goes back to my first point, which was make sure that these people are quality people, that the content that you're gonna create with them is quality for your audience, always keeping your audience in mind. The second place that you can go to find potential guests for your episodes is other similar podcasts. So you can go and search within podcast hosting platforms or even on a place like Good Pods where they have curated lists of the top podcasts on podcasting, which Listeners to Leads, the sister podcast of this, actually has been listed on a listicle like that for podcasts on podcasting. What I love about being able to look at those types of lists or even searching Google for those similar podcasts is that it allows you to kind of see what people are enjoying and it's going to push the guests and the podcasts that are already high quality. For example, if I'm looking for that person to talk about repurposing content, then maybe I'm going to go to a 
podcast about content and I'm going to find what was a guest that talked about repurposing. Then I would listen to that episode, come up with some ideas and some of my own questions that I could ask that are tailored specifically to my audience and then pitch that person to be on my show. Number three is to search those blogs. Pinterest, and also YouTube. I think a lot of people forget that Pinterest is a thing and it's a search tool that you can use to help you find other content that is similar to yours or content that you are trying to pull from to come up with your own ideas. So use blogs, Pinterest, and YouTube to find those content creators that are really making incredible content that you know are going to share with their audience and that way you can get some guests from that list as well. Number four is Facebook groups or other communities. And I know everybody is not going to always be in a Facebook group, but there are some that are fantastic for looking for potential guests. There's the find a guest, be a guest collaboration group. I've been a part of that community for a few years now, and they're pretty great. They're just very large. So you might get your post lost in all of the information or you might not be able to find a guest that you're really looking for, which is where going back to being super specific is going to help you with that. In those other communities, I'm thinking circle communities, mighty networks, any type of other community that you might be involved in where you can say, hey, does anyone know anyone who talks about this specific thing? Then you're able to really pull from people that you know are going to be quality people, that you know are going to know quality people to get a good quality guest. Number five is to search those profiles on social media. So these could be LinkedIn people. They make it really easy to search for people. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, anywhere where people are creating content. This also allows you to see, oh, this person was on this podcast talking about content repurposing two years ago, but it looks like they've shifted their business to talk about something else. So maybe they're not going to be a good guest for me and it wouldn't make sense for me to pitch them to be on my show because they're less likely to share that episode with their audience. So like I said, these are places where we can look to find quality guests, but there are some that are going to be some crossovers as we do some additional digging to ensure that these people are going to be quality guests for our podcast. Number six is to ask other podcasters. So if you are part of any podcast specific communities, this is going to be really good for you, especially if some of the people that are in those groups tend to be broader range of people. So if you're in a podcast Facebook group that is specific to your podcast hosting platform, in my case, I love Buzzsprout. And so we use them for all of our clients as well as for our podcasts. And they have a Facebook group where you can ask questions. I believe they also have a regular post where if you're looking for a type of guest, then you can go there and post about it. So these are places where I would go in and say, hey, I'm looking for someone to talk about this specifically. Do you know anyone that would fit the bill for this? And I know that the people in there already have in mind podcasting. So they're not just looking for people who know how to talk about something or they're not just business people. They are specifically podcasters. And when it comes to podcasting, you have to have a certain type of presence about you. You have to be able to speak eloquently about your topic. And it's important that the people that we have on are going to be able to do that for our audience. It helps with editing later. It helps with being excited to share the episodes. So these podcasters are going to have a better idea of the quality guests over your other general groups and communities. Number seven, you can look at some paid websites. There are tons of different ones. I personally use Podmatch to not only pitch myself to be on other podcasts, but also to find guests that are talking about specific things. There are keywords that you can search, business types that you can search, tons of different things of what people are talking about. So I could go and see who's talking about repurposing content easy. And then I'll get a list of people that are maybe not always going to be mentioned in these groups. They're not going to be those celebrities. They're not going to be those people, but they're there to be on other people's shows. They've paid to be there. So you know that they're going to be able to present something that's probably going to be a little better quality than just your regular person who's maybe never been on a podcast before. 
And finally, we have conferences and events. If you're someone who enjoys networking, enjoys getting out to conferences or attending virtual events, then these are going to be really good places to find guests. Now, I don't mean within your network and within the guests that are there at those conferences. What I mean is those speakers who is speaking at that conference, who is talking about that topic that you want to have on your podcast and how did they present it? How did they talk about it? Those are going to be additional ways that you can find guests that are maybe outside of your normal scope or outside of your normal sphere of influence that you're in to find somebody who's high quality. So those are eight places that you can go to find quality guests for your podcast. Again, make sure that you are going back to those goals and going back to ensuring that the content that you're creating with these guests is high quality. It is not worth losing listeners over just because you had somebody who was popular on your show or because you had a high profile guest. If they're not going to share it and they're not going to bring some awesome information, then I don't think it's worth it. If you have podcasting questions that you would like answered on the podcast, you can go to Successful Podcasting Unlocked to submit your questions as well as see more episodes that are available there for you to watch and listen to. 